Hello viewers, in this video you are going to learn how to change the background of any video with the help of free tools uh, available on the internet. So let me just give you a small demo and then you will uh, understand what exactly I am talking about. So let's have a look at this video. This is a video I had created with the help of an animation tool called as Toonly. I will provide the links in the description box also. This is a tool with the use of which you can create 2D animations uh, really quickly and easily. So just have a look. This video was shot with a uniform color background. It could be green, white, blue, whatever color background you wish, you can have it. What is the advantage of uh, shooting a video with a uniform background? Well, it becomes really easy for us to use any free editing softwares to, uh, to select this background color and remove it easily. But on the other hand, if you shoot a video with uh, a background of multiple colors like this curtain over here, if you see, uh, it is having multiple colors. So if I uh, shoot a video with this curtain as my background, then it would be really difficult for me to capture the colors from that background and do it and remove it altogether. So you won't get 100% result or 100% accuracy in such a case. So it is always preferable to shoot any video with either a white background, your wall, uh, because walls have unique colors, uh, uniform colors throughout. So you can select a wall at, as your background reference and shoot your videos. Even uh, if you have any any curtain or any uh, bed sheet or any cloth which you can put behind you so that the color uh, is uniform, then you can easily remove that background. So let me show you what exactly I'm talking about and how to convert this video into something like this. I simply picked up the character from the green screen video just now saw and put it in front of another video and it looks totally stunning, right? So we are going to learn how to do such kind of things with the help of the free software, which I'm going to show you just now. So the software I'm talking about is called as DaVinci's Resolve. It is uh, free of cost. Of course, it, it is having its paid version also. But trust me, the free version is more than enough for our day to day activities without any time restrictions. So what you can do is you can simply visit this website, which is called as DaVinci's Resolve. You can simply type in DaVinci Resolve on Google and the very first link will redirect you to this particular website. What you need to do is you need to go to edit and click on download and you will be presented with a form. On the left hand side, you are having the free versions and on the right hand side, you are having the studio versions or the pro or premium versions. So stick with the left hand side for the time being and you can click on the operating system you are using and depending upon that, you need to simply fill a basic form and you will be able to download it freely. That's it. After downloading this product, you simply need to open this. And we are going to make use of this video and this image and we'll try to make it look much better as a final product. So what you need to do is once this DaVinci Resolve open up, you need to click on a new project, open a new project and then we'll see how to move ahead. So this is how your DaVinci Resolve home screen will look like. You simply need to click on new project and start with a new project. For example, let me type in green screen and press create. And this is how its interface looks like. If you have worked with Premiere Pro, it looks quite similar to that. What you need to do is you simply need to drag and drop your media files, which you are interested in. So drag it over here. Now pick up the video and paste it on the timeline. Now what you need to do is you need to go to this option fusion and press shift space and search for something called as keyer and select chroma keyer press add once you do this on the right hand side you will be shown with different options you are uh, you can select any of the colors in our case it is obviously green so by default green color is selected now what you can do is you can select this chroma key over here and press anywhere on the screen as you can see uh, you can click on this n number of times until you are satisfied with the color over here and what you can do next is once you are done, you can simply slide this so uh, soft range over here till the extreme right or whichever suits your needs. And once you are done, this is how your image will look like. As you can see, the bottom part is uh, getting deleted. So you can keep the soft range somewhere over here and this will do it. And once you are done with this, you can select lock color picking and go back to your media screen 
over here you can see that the background is totally removed now you can start working on adding a different background behind this particular video for that what you can do is you can simply go to this edit mode and drag this particular image and paste it somewhere over here now if you paste it on top of this video it will not be visible because the ordering matters over here so what you can do is you can simply change their order like this and this is how the video will look like just press play and this is how it will look like isn't it fine you can simply change the duration of this image background and match it with the video now play it this is how your video will look like isn't it different isn't it cool right now once you are satisfied with the final output what you can do is you can simply go to file and quick export the best possible frame rate is already selected for you it is already in 1920 to 1080 resolution so click on export and you can give it any name for example let me go to my desktop and give it a name green screen green screen demo and green screen demo and save it will take some time depending upon the length and size of your images and audios or videos which you have used as your resources once it is done obviously the output is going to be stunning and very much different from what it was earlier right so it's done let's go and check our file it's somewhere over here yes this is how it looks like just have a look we have totally converted we have totally changed the entire appearance of that initial video and in um, into something like this it is very interesting you can add some text over here in the blank space you can move your character on uh, onto the center and whichever way you wish this was just a quick demo of how you can convert the background of an existing video into something more interesting it's entirely now up to your creativity how you wish to play around with it and add more effects to your video so stay tuned for my next video in my next video i'm going to show you how to do the same thing with the help of a very uh, popular tool which is what we call as camtasia studio thanks a lot stay tuned god bless you